Okay, so here we are in another installation on how to uh, do some photographic techniques uh, for the classroom. Uh, today we're going to actually talk about light painting and that's where we can create some really interesting still images of uh, light as it moves through. So you're basically painting an image with light itself and uh, you can use it with mo many different tools. Uh, but first we're going to start talking about uh, one, how does it work? And two, what do we need supply-wise? Okay, so first thing we're gonna need is a few things supply-wise. We're gonna need a tripod to keep everything really, really still. You're going to definitely need a DSLR camera or something you can do manual settings on. Um, also some different kind of lights. Uh, if it's just regular white lights, uh, they'll paint a nice image on there, but also these are really fun because this has a little remote and I can actually change the uh, light as far as different colors, uh, different feelings for it. Uh, I can have timers on there. So these are kind of fun when you're just trying to make a quick painting of something. So again, uh, a few things that will help you. The more colors uh, lights you have, the better, it'll, uh, more techniques you can come up with. Also, there's one more thing you might want to look at trying to get, and that's just a simple remote. So that way you can use this to actually turn on uh, the camera uh, when it starts. Uh, so if you want to be in the picture rather than walking around, you want to be on the side, push the button, start it, and then, and then start with the painting. All right, so when we're looking at our basic camera, uh, we've got a few settings that we need to do. Uh, first thing, turn your camera to the manual setting. Manual, okay and make sure you've got it on. And now from there, what we can do is we can actually look at our settings here. Uh, there's a few ones. Here the, the 30 is where you're setting up the actual shutter speed. That's how fast it is going to uh, activate, how, how that shutter is gonna open and close. So if I really take this thing all the way up, as high as it'll go, and I push the photo uh, the button to take a picture, that's how fast it goes. Boom, just took a photo that fast. Now if I turn this thing all the way down, I like to do about 30. So like you see 1.4, then now we start getting into those. Those numbers there are really going to slow down. You see, remember how fast the first one was? Now, here's how fast this one is. It's still going still on, it's still recording. See the red lights on? That's why it's important to have it on a tripod because any movement at all is gonna make a really, really blurry image. And usually before I start one, I will count down so I know how long I have to actually paint, how long I actually have time to do it in there before it shuts off. So, that took a little while. So you probably count that out to help you. So that way, if you're trying to walk in front of the lens and draw around a person or an object or just move back and forth and just kind of draw in the air with a light, uh, you want to make sure you know how much time you have. Uh, the other thing I like to do is the f-stop. Now here is the f-stop. I'm going to go ahead and click. Boom, there it is right there. That f-stop, remember, that's going to tell you how tightly uh, the lens is closed and how open it is. That's going to allow how much light in. Now, if we're taking these photos in pitch darkness in a really dark room, you're going to want to have that opened up a little bit. Not all the way because we're going to be spending some time and the longer that stays open, the more light it's going to let in. I have experimented and usually found out anywhere between 9 and 10 or 8 and 10 is a really good one. So I'm going to leave it on 9 for some of these photos. Uh, and again, if you have any trouble with some of these, check your camera's um, manual or YouTube it, you know, look online, anything like that. It'll tell you exactly the details, what you need to push, and how you need to get this thing set up. All right, so we're going to go ahead and go to the dark room, set this on a tripod, and I'm going to have some people uh, pose for me in the darkness, and I'm going to use different lights to paint around them.